Today we're gonna to learn about another English club. This is Wolves. You can see their black and gold kit above me here. Two colors that are predominant within the region. They're from the West Midlands in England. The full club name is Wolverhampton Wanderers, but almost everybody just calls them Wolves. You can see from their badge here, it's pretty straightforward, hexagonal, head of a wolf. Another one of England's older clubs. They were founded in 1877. They also play at one of England's older stadiums, an iconic one. It's called Molyneux, as you can see below me here. It was one of the first stadiums in England to have floodlights so they could hold night matches, as well as meaning they could hold European matches as well. What you see above me here is their 2022-2023 home kit. The kit itself is a pretty good one. It's kind of really nice fabric and it's by a brand I don't think I've shown off on the channel so far. You can see that little winged icon here is for Castore. They're starting to pick up pace and have a lot more clubs that they're making kits for in the last couple seasons. You'll probably notice that Newcastle United is also one that they're providing kits for. Let's look at what they won as a club here, seeing as their silverware cabinet contains three different top flight titles. They won all three of them in the latter half of the 1950s when they were most successful. They've also won all four tiers of the English Football League, which is kind of a rare honor for a club. Those leagues being currently known as the Premier League, Championship, League One, and League Two. They round out the cabinet with four FA Cup victories and two League Cups. The club have three important rivalries. The first, most important and oldest, is with West Bromwich Albion. This is called the Black Country Derby and was first held in 1886, making it one of England's oldest rivalry matches. The other two rivals they have are with close by Aston Villa and Birmingham City. Two key facts to take along with you about Wolves are first that if you go to a match at Molyneux or see one from the beginning on TV, you're gonna hear a specific song, Hi-Ho Silver Lining, as played by English guitarist Jeff Beck. The second has to do with hooliganism within the English game, especially in the 1980s, where it was a real big problem of having violence at matches, especially from firms of fans that just wanted to go to games in order to get in fights with rival away fans. This is a big problem in English football, especially for most different clubs around the country, but Wolves were unfairly blighted by the national police and scapegoated, to the point that even the operation to get rid of hooliganism around the country was known as Operation Growth, which was an acronym for Get rid of Wolverhampton's troublesome hooligans. Here are three important players for you to know from Wolves' past. The most important name in the club's history would be Billy Wright. He was a central defender, an important player for Wolves as he played his entire career there, won all three of their league titles with them in the 1950s, and is one of the most important players in international football history, seeing as he was the first player ever to play 100 matches for his country, that country being England. The second being a player who rounded out his career with Wolves, this being Paul Ince, one of the best midfielders in English football in the 1990s, and is a rare honor of having played for both Manchester United and Liverpool with acclaim at both clubs. And that is something that is just not done, really, between these two rivals. And the third player comes from their successful period in the last couple of years, that being Raul Jimenez, the Mexican international and striker, came to the club in 2019 on a permanent basis from Benfica, having been there on loan just the season before. And it's part of a connection that this club has had with Portuguese football in recent years. They brought in a lot of Portuguese players to relative levels of success and have a couple already still in their squad this season. In their current squad, let me start with what I consider to be their most important player, Hwang Hee Chan, South Korean, nicknamed the Bull, which in Korean is Hwang So, which is handy, so his surname is a part of that nickname. It's a really good nickname. He's a pretty aggressive forward, an aggressive player and goal scorer can play pretty much anywhere across the front, but Wolves deploy him mostly as a winger. Huang came to the club from RB Leipzig in Germany, where he didn't have a successful period there, but found his form in the West Midlands with Wolves, just like the second player, Matthias Cunha, also coming from Leipzig and restoring his career to a very good level just this season with Wolves. The last would be Mario Lamina. He's come to the club and is an important cog in the center of midfield for them. He's from Gabon, is an international player there. He's played at many clubs around Europe and has kind of been a journeyman before landing with Wolves. Such so a rundown on Wolverhampton Wanderers of the English Premier League.